Friends again, I've got here something that's known as pink fir apple. I've totally forgotten about them, they've been sitting in uh, or under a plant pot, and I'm having a bit of a plant pot clear out. And I came across these, and I acquired these maybe four months ago. And they were given to me at the last allotment I was at by a neighbour just as I was leaving. I have not tasted them, I've not grown them before, I've not looked up online uh, of that for any information on growing them. Apparently there's some sort of potato, it looks very potato-esque. So I'm quite keen to get them in the ground, whether they're chittered enough or not, it's, I'm not really sure. Like I say, I, I basically I know nothing about them. I didn't even know they existed until this uh, fellow allotment here gifted me a handful of these. I've given a few away to some uh, colleagues on this allotment. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them in this trench. I'm going to treat them much the same as those sort of potatoes. Your bog standard spud or tattoos and uh, all I'm going to do is bang them in that trench and like I say treat them like a normal spud and I'll keep you updated on progress etc. Okay, so simply I'm going to give them a spacing of about um, well I'm sort of guessing really if I bang them in like that I can say the chips are um, they've started I'm not sure whether to break that. I'll just bang it right on the end here. And that one in the middle. <coughs> And I'll just um, put them up, I think. Really, really worm. It's about seven, eight inches deep, or below the below the path level, anyway. Great, great. Plenty of advice on these with this vegetable. I'd appreciate a bit of insight as to what to expect or any special requirements. The ground's lovely and damp. We've had uh, three days of glorious rain. I'm sure every allotment here around the country will be pleasantly happy. And I think that'll do. So like I said, about six, seven, eight inches deep. Closer to seven. The ground's very moist and lovely. 
so it shouldn't really take long to settle to its own sort of compaction rate. I'm not going to stamp on it. And there you go. Well, not yet. That'll do. Pink for apple. Plant it. Wish them luck. Howdy friends, now I'm here with my pink fir apple plants, I've already dug one up, my mother come round for lunch and it's the first time I've had them, they're very nice, they're very kind of chestnutty. So I'm just going to get this on record of um, the reveal. I can't remember the weight of the first plant I've dug up, but um, we'll see whether we can average out. This is the plant here. I might have left it a little bit long. Only Maybe I haven't. Tick, 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 tick. Fort, 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 fort. Tick, tick, tick. One. Pick, 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 pick,
like quite a good crop that it's from just from two from two plants and bearing in mind that these are like a little luxury I suppose so alongside a few other normal spuds sweet potato carrots cabbage peas you know, three of those is more than enough for one meal. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, what about seven or eight little side portions there. Quite generous side portions as well. Okay, I'm going to give them a, a wash off and Okay then friends, that's my reveal Clean, I know some people like to keep the soil on them only, I just wanted to reveal what they, whether they're damaged, whether they've been eaten, perhaps nibbled, there's any maggots or, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm sort of unfamiliar with the existence of them up until last year, and I'd only ever tasted one just over a week ago so okay I'll do a little way up later on and I'll take these home some of these I will see if they are chittable because I'd like to continue this family let's say okay 